You're just gonna talk to me and I'll just answer. All right, I'll put cord on here. I'm Adrian Alate and I am an end of life doula. I assist those who have an advanced stage illness. So I can provide that understanding to people that death is a natural process. It's not a medical one. My job is to relieve the person who's taking their last breath. I create what's called a living well plan. And that documents the emotional, mental, spiritual wishes for the last hours, days, and weeks of life. When it comes to thinking about death, it's hard. We have so much to live for. We have our loved ones, we have our activities that we do. I tell people that there's no one way to die. I also tell them that there is no good or bad death. I hold their hand through it and I help those that they leave behind to create a new normal. I was always a funny kid. I enjoyed the elderly. I enjoyed talking with them, sitting down, having ice cream and just doing special things that the other neighborhood kids wouldn't stop to do. I have a 106 year old grandmother who has since passed away. Her name was Elizabeth Green. She was the matriarch of our family. The home meant so much to her because she had come to New Jersey from the South. She and my grandfather worked so hard to maintain the home. Everything just went together so nicely from the carpeting to the color on the wall. Her only desire in life was to stay into her home. The last two weeks of life, she had to leave that home. She went to a really nice medical environment, but there was no one there who was guiding us, talking to us about her emotional, mental, and spiritual needs. There was no one who was educating us or supporting us. My grandmother had a 2020 impact on what I do now. So I was able to look back and say, wow, now that I know how I help people, this is what we did not have. There was once a time where it was just the person who had the advanced stage illness and myself in the room. I had told the family members to go lay down and get a good night's sleep so that way they can be well rested in the morning. So I found myself in the room thinking that I would just sit and maybe hold her hand and maybe play some slow music. I just felt as if the moment was telling me to get up, put on these really jazzy type songs and to get up and dance. That's what I did. I listened to the moment I got up and I danced with the person who was in the act of dying phase. I danced around her bed. As I danced, her pulse continued to increase. I just knew that I was doing what I was supposed to be doing. Society would say, why are you dancing in the middle of the night? When I know that things are supposed to happen, I don't question them. I just go along with what that moment calls for. And as the words are coming out of my mouth, I find myself rising up. I don't think this is by accident. I think this moment is valuable and that it's teaching me something and it's teaching you something too.